apparently uh, Haiti's president that was just assassinated. Well, his wife was now being is now being charged in involvement with the setup. This is crazy. This is crazy what's going on in Haiti. Uh, we bring in Haiti to the front of the people, man. Let's tune in and see what's going on in Haiti. And for our next story, we head south to the Caribbean. A judge in Haiti has charged the widow of murdered President Jovenel Moise in connection with the assassination of the former leader. The 122-page document has charged Martin Moise with conspiring with former Prime Minister Claude Joseph for killing President Moise. The judge said that Martine killed her husband with the intent of becoming Haiti's next president. And as we see now, the plot has certainly thickened. Here's our report. It was the 7th of July in the year 2021. Haiti's 43rd president, Jovenel Moise, was enjoying the calm Caribbean breeze. Moise was spending the afternoon at his residence in the capital city of Port-au-Prince. Perched on top of a hill, Moise could see rows of houses from his presidential residence. In an instant, the Haitian president's world turned bloody. 28 armed gunmen stormed the resident. Seven of them entered the bedroom where President Jovenel Moise and his wife Martine were resting. Moise was attacked and punched before being shot 12 times. His wife, Martine, was shot in the arms and thighs. The attack lasted a few minutes. Haiti had lost its president. President Jovenel Moise was dead. This sent Haiti into a state of shock. Massive protests erupted. Imagine that. Obviously, he was the target, but they left his wife. They shot at the wife, only shot her in her arm and in her leg but they left her alive. Insane. Let's continue, though. Let's see what happened after this happened. With the Thousands people. filled the streets of Port-au-Prince. They demanded justice, and so did the dead president's wife, Martine. Hope that my husband will find justice. Every country that can help, please help, because the people that did that are still out there. And I don't know if their name will ever be out. But at some point, if they find the people that send the money, the people that finance surely help, I think that they will find the people that eat the other. So I will have hope that Chovnel Moise will have just... Let me remind what she just said. Hold up. Surely help. I Is she asking for money? But at some point, if they find the people that send the money, the people that finance surely help, I think that they will find the people that eat the other. So I will have hope that Chovnel Moise will have justice, and I won't stop asking for justice until justice is found. Police officials sprung into action. Three suspects. That is in. See, I can't believe if this is true. This is allegedly still, by the way. But if this is true, this is a terrible, terrible, terrible situation that this guy got himself into. Oh, this is sad. Were Let's killed continue. And at least 20 were arrested. Haiti officials said that most of the suspects were Colombian gang members. In addition, a Haitian businessman was sentenced to life for planning the assassination. It was almost a shut and sealed case until a judge issued an arrest warrant for Martin Moise. Dead President Jovenel Moise's case has been brought back to life. Now, a judge has accused his wife of planning the assassination. A 122-page document says that Martin Moise worked with former Prime Minister Claude Joseph to kill her husband. The judge claims that Martine got her husband killed because she wanted to be the next president of Haiti. The prosecutor has ordered the arrest and trial of Martine and Claude Joseph. That is some drama going on in Haiti. 
That is some drama going on in Haiti. So apparently this guy and the president's wife were in cahoots the entire time and set him up to be killed by Colombian mercenaries. Wow. At least 50 other people have been named in the wow. warrant. Martin Moyes and Claude Joseph have blamed the current administration wow. and called the court's judgment a political play. Wow. Joseph says that the only person to benefit from President Jovenel Moyes' death was his successor, Oriel Henry. The former prime minister says that Henri is carrying out a political coup against Martin Moyes. Meanwhile, the judge says that the court works independently and is not influenced by the government. The case of the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse has taken an unusual twist. It has gotten murkier with no sight of justice. Haiti continues to suffer from gang violence. But the case of President Moïse had brought hope to the people. They thought the assassination would unite everyone against criminals. Instead, it has created political rifts. And now, a power struggle is out in the open. Will President Jovenel Moïse get justice? Or will this be another victory for gangs, mafia and criminals? Haiti demands answers. This is insane, man. Look at the streets of Haiti, y'all. Look at the streets of Haiti. Look what they're doing in the streets. This is how they're sending their message. Haiti is full of gang violence. It's full of crime now. They wanted answers. They still haven't gotten them. Wow. Wow. I can't believe. I, I mean, I can't believe it, but it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. The wife, his ex, his wife is is the reason and the cause of all of this. Is this what you're telling me, though? Let me know how you guys feel about this down in the comments. This is insane, man. Let's continue. From impeachment to inauguration. That was it. That was it. Wow. 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 Wow, man. We praying for Haiti, man. We praying for Haiti. We praying for our Zoes. We praying for all of y'all that have to go and deal with this. I have a lot of Haitian friends, so man, I pray that their families are safe, and I pray that they get it together down in Haiti, man. This is crazy. This is crazy, but thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Let me know how you guys feel about that situation down in the comments. I, I, I don't know if I could trust this woman, man. I don't know if I could trust her. This is, this is a sad situation. And if she is the reason why uh, her husband got assassinated, she deserves to be in jail for a very, 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 very long time. 